That was a good flight. How long are your flight times? I don't know, five or ten minutes? Well, which is it, five or ten? Get out of my face, punk! A lot of people are asking me, how long are your flight times? Well, the, the default answer is, of course, oh, I don't know, somewhere between five and ten minutes, maybe seven. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you on the Tyrannus how you can time your flights. First of all, you already have your model set up, hopefully, like this, and all you want is a timer in here. So you want to go to the menu and want to get on your model, push the page button, and go down to the uh, timer one, and we're going to turn this to THS, THS, there we go. And that's all you need for that one. Then you come down here to timer two, which you can kind of see. Change this one because we're crazy over to ABS, like this. There we go, and save it. And that's what you need to do. Then exit, exit back to the main screen and you'll see that we have two uh, timers on here now. This one, the THS, is actually recording how long your uh, throttle stick is above zero. You know, if your throttle's on, it's measuring it. This lower one is actually measuring how long your Tyrannus has been turned on for. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to reset this uh, THS quickly. So, what we'll do, we'll go into the menu again. Let's get on our model. Go to page, and we're going to go over to the... Uh, where am I going? Special functions. And we need to find one of these special functions that's empty. We're gonna set this. We're gonna get on this first blinking one here. And what I'm gonna do is I rarely use this trainer switch. I don't really have anybody I'm training to fly. So uh, if you flip the switch, it should show up down here. There, this trainer is off. Now it's on. And the switch is just a momentary switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to uh, the SH down like that. Then we're going to, let's see here, go over to the next one and set this one to reset. And we're going to say reset timer one and check the box. So it's checked over there. Okay, so now we go ahead and exit, exit, exit. Okay, see everything is counting. But we just got done with one flight and now we want to reset it. We just flipped a switch. I'll do it here right now. And there it is. Switches it back to zero. Again, this one's showing you how long the throttle has been above zero. So if you take off and you're flying around for a while and then you pull it down and you land, the timer stops. So you're actually really are measuring your flight time. Now, if you're flying an airplane, that won't work, but, if, but for quadcopters and tricopters, it does. This one down here in the bottom is just showing you how long the Tyrannus itself has been on. And that's why I say we'll just put it on because we're crazy and... Uh, Welcome to Tyrannus. Because we can. Flight mode one. So here, the Tyrannus is already counting up. Uh, the the uptime is already counting. Why does this one start at nine? I don't know. That's why we got it on the quick switch right here. We just give it a little flick, and now we're back down to zero again. So anyway, this will be good for uh, next time your friends ask you how long are your flight times. You can actually give them good estimates, <laughs> and uh, it won't be guessing so much anymore as it is actually telling them the truth. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Yeah, we love it, mama.